Cheater, one of one auto. Dual logo man, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell. Oh, that's filthy. Here we go, group break number 10,574, Ginter Baseball, baby. The new stuff, 2023 Ginter Baseball coming at you. We're going to start with a final closer where everyone gets a team. Actually, one person gets two. Whoever lands in the fifth spot gets the Twins and the Rays. Simple as that for Ginter. Three times. One, two, three. All right, so I'm going to read these out as I go through here. So, Lucky, you've got the Tigers and the Astros. FFH Kansas City, Sweet Pea, the Miami Marlins, Mr. Inflatables, that is the Twins and Tampa Bay, Sweet Pea with the New York Mets, congrats, Mr. Inflatables, the Padres and the Giants, Sweet Pea, the Rangers, and Brad Willis on the Blue Jays. Give me a sec there. And then the non was And I'll do the random in just a sec as well for that breaker pack for one of you people in two spots. Do that real quick three times. One, two, three. Sweet pea. Breaker pack. Congratulations. All right, let's jump on over to the team list then. Bam and bam. There it is on the screen. Nice. Nice and pretty looking. Over here for the break. Hey, Jax. Uh, I mean, you're, you'll be in on a randomizer that you bought into. So if, if you buy into a break, you're in on the random if it's a random break. And if you have any questions, let us know. And, uh, well, Draz will probably be in chat here too. So you'll, uh, he'll be able to answer anything as well if, we just want you to know what's going on. But Jax, everything you see on the website that all breaks tonight, we break it in the order that it fills. No, no, that was, this is a pick your team break. The random was for the closer that we did for the final spots. We just put it all together in the one here. So sweet pea, sweet pea. Dry says he's been on an auto kick here. Austin Eckler. Oh, some guy named Giannis, the Greek freak, to one nine to nine. All right, y'all ready for this? Come on now, let's get weird. Red ink, for sure. Always good to see. I want to just random story as I'm opening this. Like, before I even started breaking, um, this was probably like 15 years ago. I was starting to do YouTube videos a little bit. 
and I, went, I set up at this card show in St. Louis and there was this guy there who was like, hey, I, I'm buying, and this, you gotta remember, this is kind of pre like eBay having a ton of cards on it. And a lot of people just didn't use eBay at all. Um, but this guy would walk around and go, hey, I'm, I buy all red ink autographs from Allen and Ginter for $300 a card. Like he didn't care, like if it was a better than $300 player, he didn't care. Like he, he was just, he was just older guy. He's like 300 is my, my number, no matter what. And that was back then. That was back then. Yeah. And so uh, he was trying to do the whole master set of red inks. They're all numbered to 10. Wow. And so I would just like, I'd go to all the shops I could, like online, try to find as many as I could. I'd scoop them up and some I'd buy for like 290, you know, sell them for him 300. Some I got for, for like 180, 190. You know, you couldn't really find any cheap ones back then because they were so rare. But it was this guy who's like, I just want the red inks. He liked the way they looked. Yeah, there was, yeah, like I said, eBay had so such limited inventory back then. Box hoppers, guys, if they're, um, if they're numbered or autoed or you know anything but a base card, they ship. Otherwise, they're just. Well, if you know Ginter, you know how this goes. Nope. Woohoo! You've received a jumbo card. Oh, geez! Out of twenty-five, Mahomes NT. How'd you throw it away? And you'll see here, guys, we'll have, like, all different kinds of weird stuff. I try not to look at the checklist too much on the uh, non-sport because I like to kind of experience it as I go here. <laughs> he said, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, Breaking Bad Auto, isn't this? Thanks for spoiling it. All right, here we go. So here's one of our first insert sets. We won't show all these, just only at the start. Only in Milwaukee, and it's homeboy sliding down the slide. That's one of the insert sets. Sorry. Gotta get a feel for how it goes. You got all the minis here. That looks like a base mini to me. Fun in the sun, jet skiing. Ginter back mini, so that's a non-base. Jersey, Shane Wright, Atlanta, first one out. Lucky. Or I said Shane, Kyle Wright. I'm, I'm sorry. Kyle Wright, JT Romuto. That's the regular. Oh. Oh, yeah. We, well, they're all, it's Ginter backs and back variations mostly. Though it's easy to see. Black border, uh, Corota for the Yanks. Ginter's easy. Ah, Kansas City boy, Eric Stone Street. Nice. If he's got autos, those would be popular here. Machado. Oh, these are fun. The, these little silver etched. Those are sick. That's a great looking card. Bo Bichette for Toronto. That's nice. I like that. Cortez. And then, well, just, I'll just take this whole base and I said, usually, I think they do Ginter back. Yeah. All the inserts ship. I do base bird ship. <laughs> you know, yeah, if you got the, uh, Francis, you got the non-spot. The non Holy cow, do you get an absolute stack just because all the inserts. Also, just a really unique checklist for, like, non baseball signers and things like that. So it's, it's a fun set, really fun set. The minis and everything, Rappaport there. Also, a break that worth every penny to have a breaker do it all for you. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got an only in Boston on the insert. It doesn't say that, but is oh, what do we have here? Look at this, Benny Wasserman relic. 
Wasserman Relic, Francis, Actor, Benny Wasserman, Jersey, or Jersey, yeah, sure, Jersey. It's cool in the shop, this. Ginter back. So on the minis, you have like base minis and you have Ginter backs, which are slightly more rare, I would say. Not by much, though. In the spirit of the game, we still ship the Ginter backs, even though they're, there's a bajillion of them. There's one of our first of these. Yosemite National Park, the, the World of Wonder insert. Some fun in the sun there. I agree, Lucky. Right, Kidder? All that hard work. And it's like, it's a cool setup too because it's not like like two autos a box or no it's like two essentially it's two like weird things a box that's the best way to describe it oh that's cool shortstop doesn't touch ball rarest of the diamond I like that it's a good looking set that's francis as well it's like francis you'll do well here there's a little baby that's cool manoa's tattoo Big Poppy on the Ginter back. There's, I wonder if they get Victor Ink in this. That'd be crazy. Yeah, he's got a, what? He is? Framed autos. So you can get a Victor Women Yama auto. That'd be crazy. Mount Castle regular. Oh, another jersey of Turner for Boston. Going to FedEx John. Justin Turner. So we actually got three relics there. Is it three? Oh yeah, any three, I'm sorry. Three weird things per box. Ginter back there as well of Canerco. And wait, hey, that's the same exact one as last time. No. And there are hot boxes in this too where it's gonna be all silver chrome. Yep, is that like the first thing one I pulled? Oh, no, they're chrome. They're, they're actually chrome. Yeah. Also, guys, this is how you, the backs, you can tell, by the way, you can tell short prints as well. They're on a different card stock. And so, like, instantly when you turn them over, they stick out like a sore thumb. I'm checking these for um, alternate backs. I don't, I don't know if they did them on the big cards this year, but. Definitely rip cards. Oh yeah, they're they're always in there. They, they have three or more uh, rippers on the same card. A few of those over the years. So you can tell the uh, variations like instantly. Holy smokes! None there. <laughs> So we get anything but a base here. Nope, base. Boop, boop. All right, box two. Yeah, on the variation, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, like I said, you can always sell variations and get there from the back. Sweet Pea, they still make that one, the, the I think it's called Tops Rip, right? The one where it's all rip cards? Yeah. They sell it direct on their website? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great for kids. Uh, value, avoid, like the plague. Oh, 
Oh, fun in the sun, fishing. All right, we got a frame here. Rookie. Auto. Benson for Cincinnati. Will Benson, gold frame, rookie auto. Those are so nice. Allen. Foil filigree is what they call that one, eh? Hey, Allen. Allen Street. <laughs> Little Ginter back action. Little black border. Oh no, that the foil on that bichette, like with the card, looks so good. So one in twenty-five would be essentially one a box. Let's catch a Loctus monster. All right. The pack is dripping wet. We got another silver in here. I'm gonna go on this one. Oh, it's weird. Oh, weird. Why is that on the front? It's like they had to for like licensing. Yeah. It's got the G League Ignite logo on there. And they must have, I bet you they have some sort of rule on that. Royal Salt Mines of Poland. What? No, this is G League. Call this doing the Lord's work. Here's a relic. Hmm, what's he do? Fish or something? Content creator and podcaster Miles Montplizer. Miles Montplizer going to Francis Hodges. A chunk of his underwear or something. What's up, dude? He, everyone has one. You don't have to ask me. <laughs> All right, boom. We got another bird. Oh, what do we got here? A uh, only in Chicago, the candy. Oh, that's the. Well, that one Chicago. The one we were looking at was uh, Minnesota. Remember, because it was the uh, Saints. Oh, was it the White Sox? Yeah. Maybe White Sox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was the White Sox City. I got you. I'm following. Oh, this is sick. Nice. Texas. Sweet pea. Young rookie. Young rookie with the silver foil. Nice card. I like it. Oh, that's a comedy relic. Uh, Sweet pea, he's very good. Yep, one of the top rookies. Yep, one of the top rookies. I'd say better than Piastri. Better than Piastri because he's actually gotten some wins this year. <laughs> he said that is sweet, then. <laughs> Birds everywhere here. We got the Galapagos Islands in Ecuador. How about a Bobby Dahlbeck jersey relic Boston Red Sox FedEx John? Yeah, I went to look at the back of that. Shoot. Oh, 
Potter's mini rookie. Oh, what do we got here? La Bandera. International Delights, Dominican Republic. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. White rice with some kind of meat with some sauce. La Bandera. Look that up, Draz. I got to know. Oh. La Bandera translates to the flag in English, a fitting name for Dominican Republic's national dish. Served for both lunch and dinner, this blend of rice, red beans, and meat is tricolor like the country's banner, just as vital to its people. That looks fantastic. I would smash that. Is that its rookie card? Pretty sure that's the La Bandera rookie card, which is sick. So we've got dry oregano, pepper, adobo, butcher cutter, mm. uh, Yep. Top round two. Smash. Smash. He just he just read the ingredients. Absolute smash. That's steak, by the way, in there. Steak. Steak, red beans, and rice with like some Worcestershire, adobo. Yep, I'm in. I just want that to be a scratch and sniff or a scratch and lick. And that was the first uh, first food one too. That must be a one of the harder to hit ones. That guy. We don't talk about him. Fact. I mean that no one has said really anything about him. Lucky. It is La and then Bandera. B A N D E R A. B A N D E R A. Looks like an amazing way to start a day. Kidder, they need to do an Uber Eats collab. Where, yeah, you redeem the redemption for a delivery of that meal on Uber Eats. That'd be dope. Well, that's, what the, the taco fracture, isn't that supposedly... that's what people are, are rumoring. But remember, I saw the rumor that it was to go to the game in Mexico City. Uh -huh. that's, hey, that's what I saw. Enter back. Oh, what do we got? Another green monster fish ish. Oh, here's a green jersey relic framed of Jeff Bagwell for Houston. Lucky. Flamed, flamed, framed jersey relic. The Ginter backs, like I said, on the uh, on the minis, incredibly common, almost as common as the base ones. But that's why when I flip them over, I'm just making sure there's some hand numbered minis as well. So I'm just watching. I'm just making sure we're seeing all the what we got here. Yosemite National Park and more birds. Lucky, let us know how that turns out. By the way. You guys, spots drop it on the site. It's my last breaks for like three weeks for me. So getting my fill in tonight. We're going to have some fun. We've already done some random giveaways. Make sure to get your spots in all the breaks. We'll keep them running. Same thing, black frames are relatively common on the minis, not numbered on those either. Uh, what do we have here? What is that? Tom Sandoval, personality and musician. What a Francis Hodges. Hey, there we go. Poutine. I, I, 
like I might get hit in the room, especially because I know there's some Canadians in the room. It's not my favorite. Like it's okay, but a little, it's just a little too like salty for me. It's a little too savory. I don't mind it. I just oh nice Rafa Nadal on the silver foil. Francis. I look, I've had all the poutine. I it's just I think it's more of like a like dish construction for me. Like it's just not my palate. I, it's not bad. Like I'm not saying it's bad at all. But I've it's just not like the ooh, I need poutine, you know, like I don't know. And I love me curds. Well, I like good curds. I don't like. I don't like. I need. I need some squeak. It's the gravy, sweet pea. I don't like beef gravy. I don't like brown gravy. It takes me back to like elementary school, like cafeteria every time. That's not good at all. Now you give me some poutine with a white chicken gravy. I'm in. I'm in. That's like. That's like a riff on biscuits and gravy, but for french fries. Then I'm it. It's that beef gravy, though. It gets me. Oh, we got a... This is interesting. We got another silver foil in the same box. Uh, Jimenez for the White Sox. Five jacks. What's up, Griff? Oh, we did pick your team on this. Yeah, chicken poutine sounds great. I mean, I'm a biscuits and gravy lover, by the way. That's my morning weakness. And Griff, we're just having a good old time tonight. So I said earlier, I'm, this is my last night of breaks for myself for like almost three weeks. I have a business trip to go on. Uh, Hunter Pence for Houston. That's kind of funny looking. That dude. What a squirrely guy. What a squirrely guy. Oh, we got dessert. Oh, save room for dessert cupcakes. Mm. Oh, yeah, non baseball is an entire spot. There's not enough icing on those cupcakes. Oh, oh, Victor Wembenyama to 25. Hand numbered Brooklyn back. That is a monster. Ho, 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 ho. Four of 25, Victor Wimbenyama Francis. Whoa. Oh, out of nowhere. Huge card. Brooklyn back. Victor Wemby. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. That's how tonight's going to go, huh? That's how we're doing tonight. Wow. Holy smokes. That is crazy. Hitting a hand numbered mini to 25 in a case is is tough. Hitting it of the guy you want to hit uh incredibly unlikely. Um, that more than paid for the spot. No, I know. I'm just uh, saying it takes like. Oh yeah. Everything else is just you know, gravy, but not brown beef gravy. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Lon Bandera just got left in the dust. Dusted. Could you imagine if that was a Victor Wembanyama rip card? 
You're like, but I don't wanna. But I don't wanna. No. Base. Base. Once again, guys, have, just having a fun night tonight. Random giveaways. Make sure to get your spots in the breaks. We'll keep them rolling. We'll keep giveaways rolling. Draz, Kaniac, Sawyer, Falco. We'll all be holding down the fort here in the next few weeks. Eight on finest uh, UEFA. Nine on F1 Sapphire, I hear. So I'm, go I'm going off tonight. City of Quito in Ecuador. Chambers. Also, once again, on the Bowman Chrome break that is on the site, if you did not see earlier, uh, Nems, by the way, that is a content creator. Gorilla Nems. Going to Francis. Uh, we, did the, we did the first half of that hobby case of uh, Bowman Chrome. One orange shimmer base card, non-first. That's it for the low numbered. Zero low numbered autos. The lowest numbered auto was like a purple to 299 or 250. Chiefs gone on mosaic out here. Save room for dessert. Gummy bears. Kidder, I'm going on a work trip. I don't know if I'm allowed to say where I'm going on a work trip. I don't know. Sweet pea, am I allowed to say? I don't even know. DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. Griffin on the whale chase. Oh, we're, I'm sorry, we're having fun today. That's what I tell my wife when I go to Vegas, too. <laughs> for days here what is this one the uh, the immaculate inning that's nine straight strikes for three strikeouts if you're not familiar very rare feat jersey of old hunter green for sensi no I, I can assure you this is the this is the most the most legitimate work trip I've probably ever gone on. The longest I've been gone for sure. And literally 100% dedicated to work on this one. Oh, that's cool. Will Levis. Jeez. Francis Silverfoil. <laughs> Taj Mahal <laughs> wonders. <laughs> I'm going on I think the longest plane ride of my life I'm pretty sure I went to I went to Greece and uh, Slovenia I don't know five years ago six years ago or so but we stopped in we stopped in Egypt like as a layover and so that would have cut that one a little shorter so yeah this, this has to be the longest flight I've ever been on Mauricio for the White Sox. I, I'm loving those silver foils. They're great looking cards. Still can't believe we just dropped a victor out of nowhere. Tom Seaver for the Mets. It's got sticky all over the front of it. I think it will clean off. Chris, look at this. It, that is all like glue or something. Yeah. I feel like I should just put that in a, in a uh, sleeve now. Well, no, no, you don't want microfiber. No, no it like stick to the glue. Uh, 
It just needs like a like a honestly like a, a light Clorox wipe. It's an acetate card, which is nice. Yeah. You can't really mess that part up. So I just don't want it all over everything else. <laughs> Boom. Boom. What do we got oh what do we got here? Only in Detroit. Only in Detroit can you get a statue of a tiger? Nowhere else. <laughs> Enter back. Yep. <laughs> Grip, so good. All right, box five. <laughs> yes, we just reported the Dolphins have scored on the Broncos again. left F1 Sapphire I'm being told is there is there a closer up right now there is a closer up but it does not involve F1 oh nice so closer up but there's no F1 in it so F1 when that's gone it's gone we had so many we have so many breaks that are like single digits are right there obviously we'll have some uh, serial closers as well for the uh, picker teamers that Bowman Chrome is the one that it's just smart breaking. We've had two boxes of the HGA case open today. Absolutely nothing from those. And then half case of Hobby. Jimenez for Cleveland here. That's going to Adam P on the Bat Relic. And the no case. Fresh case. Yeah. Is a fresh case. Yeah, the way Mosaic football. Um, Allentown, Pennsylvania on that one. Uh, whoa, whoa. By any other name. Oh, that's the first one we've had. By any other name, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh. Interesting. That's the first one from that set. So that must be one of the rare ones. He said, screw you, Allentown. Oh yeah, uh, what is it? Mo so the way Mosaic football is going, uh, the random team is from a fresh case. The picker team is is running it back, since the other one, the other half was picker team already, keeping it the same format there. And then yeah, museum soccer first half of a fresh case. We're almost out of that. I'm I'm feeling like frisky giving away that case tonight on the one on one bounty. Museum soccer one on one bounty. Let's give away that free case. I would say at this point we're probably due, statistically speaking. Six, six left on closer two, I'm being told. Yep. Draz doing work while we rip Ginter. So we're getting we're getting set up for a nice night of breaks. We're having some fun. But he still does not like Allentown. Just letting you put that out there. Oh, that's sick right there, actually. Ermsey Relic. Francis. He probably did the art for it, too. That is sick. He's one of the Project 2020 artists. That's where he kind of, like, in the sports card world came to fame. That's really cool. If they had like Ermsey Originals in this, that'd be sick. I think he does have auto, so maybe he Googled something up. That'd be cool. Ooh, save room for dessert, milkshake. Now you're talking my language. I am a sucker for that. 
That is Tom and Nicholas, which is Henry Rowan Gardner. Looking up recipes is not work. <laughs> Griff, when, did I miss your birthday? Or did, I thought no, no. I think we were live for that night. It was Saturday. Well, happy freaking birthday. I hope it was a good one. Dang it. It must be in my spam folder. <laughs> Can't turn back. Korea. I don't know how I feel about the fun in the sun insert set. It's just kind of boring, but whatever. Schwarbs for Philadelphia. Raider fan. What do we got here? Wonder of the world. I am not pronouncing that one. Probably the most unpronounceable name I've ever seen. What'd you just say? You, it's like you gave up halfway through. No, there's no N in there. No, no. There's only one in. <laughs> oh, it's definitely got to be Philippines, right? No. Hawaii. It's northwest of the main Hawaiian archipelago. No, technically, Papa Hama Hama. <laughs> Pad Parasha. They come from the same place. Actually, all Pad Parashas are born in whatever Iowa now. Okay, let me check these base. <laughs> that's funny. That's just that's just what he tried to do. He said it's just like Draz trying to pronounce the F one one one. Let's pull a pappy tonight, eh? I don't mind me trying to thumb through these cards. So they're super obvious when they're, but you'd have to get them to, there we go, not to cover each other up. Eh, nothing. Sight getting smacked. So one combo left, six on the closer, six on F1. Combo nasty night. You get on four different breaks. Say again. I don't think so, and if I am, it doesn't matter because. Hey, I'm I'm on schedule for an hour and twenty five. That's 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 fantastic. <laughs> I have hey Griff, if there's a sound coming out of my phone, it scares me. Me and Drives are actually the same on that. My phone made a sound the other day. I looked at your phone. Yep. Alarm system. Yeah, his sound was going off on this one the other day. He's like, I'm looking at him going, 
uh, your phone. And he's like, what? I said, there's something coming out of your pocket. Hey, oh. By any other name, Alan's Swamp Monkey. Oh, they're all Alan. Alan and Ginter. We got Alan Town, Alan's Swamp Monkey. Oh. Well, it's funny because the only thing that's in Alan Town is Swamp. Morell for the Cubs, AW, rookie bat relic. It all makes sense now. We're going fishing again. You get a lot of dupes on the uh, inserts that are not rare. Let's put it that way. New York, New York. <laughs> ka ching, ka ching. <laughs> Kidder, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Oh, wait. So Mosaic Football, that's like already ready for a serial closer. So make sure to grab your uh, teams on that if you're wanting any because that will quickly go to a closer. Yeah, I like that. Draz said he's going to put it up with about two boxes left in Ginter. So last chance there. Devers, Boston, Jersey Relic. Panthers and Titans are so incredible. Why? I don't know. And then batting 400, rarest of the diamond. Batting 400. Gunnar Henderson. Silver of Small for Milwaukee. Glickster. And I have no relatives in this. Save room for dessert. Root beer float. I actually hate root beer floats. I hate root beer. I didn't insult p poutine. I said it's a perfectly fine dish. I'm just, people that like trip over it, I'm just like, why? Eckersley for Boston. FedEx John. I, I did. I, I don't like root beer at all. Like zero. Like hard pass. It's just a very medicinal taste to me. Monastery in Bulgaria. I feel like that's not like a very like that's not a hot take on not like a root beer. I mean that's a that's a pretty common something thing that people aren't a fan of or they are a fan of. It's not it's not like a eh. No. People like it or they don't. Like what I did have the other night for the first time ever. You guys are gonna laugh at this. I've I have I still have never drank coffee. Never had a cup of coffee ever. Ever. Ever ever? Ever. Never. However, the other night after the Chiefs game, I was at my party with Taylor Swift and I had an espresso martini. And that that
was solid. That was good. That was dangerous. No, yeah, Griff never had coffee. Never had coffee. I don't know if I can say that anymore, but I don't know if I really count an espresso martini as having coffee, but whatever. All right, box seven. Yeah, I'm just saying though, like espresso martini is a whole different, whole different ball game. I was like, wait, this doesn't even taste like coffee. I'm like, I'm not sitting here trying to act like espresso martini is like the manliest drink in the world. I don't care. I've never been the guy who drinks something because it's like, that's the proper thing to drink. It's like, no, if I like it, I'll drink it. If I don't like it, I won't. I drink gin martinis typically, gimlets, they are the best. Nothing better than a fresh fresh lime juiced gimlet. Mm. So good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rip card to 199 Nolan Gorman. Brad Willis. On the clock. No matter what is in that, Brad, if you rip it, it is yours. As well as the outside part of it will also come to you. Griff starting the chant. Oh, what do we have here? Ropa Vieja. Not quite as good looking. No, that's crap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stewed beef, sofrito, and tomatoes. Yeah, it's, it's a little too, like, uh, vegetable-y no, for me. No, no, that's Spanish, by the way. You can't claim that. <laughs> I, all right, we're ripping Gorman right after this box. Uh, lucky you misspelled chocolate cream. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how pies work. Pittsburgh Bridge. <laughs> Alan said all the above. Oh, look, that's pretty freaking cool. Sandoval with some rhinestone. Are they real diamonds? Uh, Tom Sandoval. Francis, shine bright like a diamond. Downs rookie. Pascantino, Ginter back. Bueller black. Here comes a silver oil of Nemo for the Mets. Fellow Ginter back. So I said, got to clean the, clean the table. And what is a Sandoval? <laughs> Looks like some more stuff might have gone on the site. Mm -hmm. 
No, I just I saw my emails go up. So it could just be a regular. Rock hewn churches in Ethiopia. Uh, Stowers mini rookie. Come here. There we go. Peter Downs get their back. Oh, nice. Doc Gooden for the Mets. Sweet pea. This one does not have the sticky stuff on it. By any other name, Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, Kevin Hart's in here. I wonder if he has ink. He does. Sweet. That's how I like how good it is. It's like a movie movie. Yeah, it's like pop with baseball. <laughs> Does the Edgar Allan Poe card go to Allen or Poe? Poe doesn't even know who Edgar Allan Poe is, so we're going to go with Allen. Poor Edgar. Just got left out of the equation. Hey, look, a rip card. All right, here we go. It says it can be a red mini auto, an exclusive mini, an exclusive mini wood, an exclusive mini metal, or a sketch card. All right, I see the team. Oh. We'll take that. We'll take that. Brad. I'm guessing this is going to be a high numbered short print, is my guess. High numbered short print Ken Griffey Jr. But what I'm going to do, this goes in here. I'm actually going to put that, hold on. Combo six on the sapphire and six on three. Two again. Four more. Three more, sorry. Real number closer on the Zayek. And I don't know why, but the Panthers and the Titans are both still there. So Panthers, Titans, both still there. Mosaic football serial closer. That will be going up after three more boxes of Ginter. Uh, allocate, I mean, not really something that we do. Like the site, I was already pulled those out of inventory. Like everything's automated, you know? Oh, come here. <laughs> hey, doing the heavens. Well. It's a base one too. <laughs> there he goes.
I know. It, it, it makes you think, oh, I just said an autograph. Congratulations. And then what, three? Yeah, after this and two more boxes, the serial closer for Mosaic Football will go up. So last chance to grab a team there. Also, just so you guys know, the Bowman Chrome uh, baseball closer, like when that gets down to maybe like 10 or nine teams, it's going up no matter what, because it's going to be loaded with team. No, there's no way for it not to be. Hitting for the cycle, rarest of the diamond. How many total teams are left on that one? 11? Uh, 11, yeah. When that gets down to, to 9 or 10, that will go to a serial because I just want the serial to be in the mid to high ones. Because that is going to be... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Double rip card to 30. MCHLCL and Lucky. Oh boy! Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a random. Or I mean, throwing that out there, if they both agree, they could get the rip card out of their own side. I mean, I'm not against that, but they would have to both agree to it. That's what I'm saying. If everyone agrees, I look. No, no, lucky. This is one card. There's two cards in it. Yeah, there's two cards in it, but it's only one card. So, for this one, it's MCHLCL and Lucky. Right, Lucky, but the, he would have to agree on that. Otherwise, it's going to be a random, and one person gets the whole dang thing, and then you can rip it for yourself. That makes sense? Random is always the default. Anything else has to be agreed upon. So if MCH, if you're in the room and you want to split, I think Lucky's down to split it. He gets, he gets, you know, Seattle side. You get Yankee side. But MCH, let us know. Otherwise, like I said, if MCH isn't in chat or let, or whatnot or wants to just random it, we can random at the end, and then if you win it, it, everything's yours. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one card, 27 to 30. There's no numbering on the other side. There's there's a ripper on this, so like there's a tab on this side, you rip it, there's a mini on this side, and then same thing, rip on this side, there's a mini on this side. So there's there's two cards inside. Dual player card. I said MCH LCL. If you can let us know by the end of the break. Then there's no way to know. The insides could be any team. You have no idea. The insides aren't related to the outside. And the last one was a Cardinal on the inside was Cincinnati Red. Colorado. No, no, they, they get the insides. When you own the rip card, you get everything, no matter what's inside. That's like Brad just ripped the Cardinal card. It had a red inside, but it, that still goes to Brad with the Cardinals. That was his rip card. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that, that would suck. Yeah, yeah, nobody would rip then, right? <laughs> so like I said, if we get to the end of the break and there's we haven't heard from MCH, then we'll random that. It'd be 50-50 and then lucky if you hit it and we want to rip it, you, everything would be yours if you want it. And if MCH want it, you can get everything. Whatever whatever it is. <laughs> right, Alan? Like, why did I buy them? There's some rooms that uh that require rips. That's what they do. Falafel. Egypt. Oh, nice. 
So yeah, really one team. Old time hockey. Relic. Old time hockey. Relic. Am I saying it right? All my Canadian brethren are pleased right now. Another silver foil coming. Is there a hot box in every case, by the way? Shea Langoliers, nice for Oakland going there. Raider fan. Silver foil. Krakow, Old Town. So far, no fish, just birds. Actually, there was one fishing card. There, there was one fish. It was like some kind of outdoor card. Lots of birds, though. What if there's a falcon? Little baby. Seeger for Texas. Sweet Pea. Jersey Relic. There's a, a red kite. Isn't that a type of falcon? They're from the same family as Eagles and Harriers. Yep, two boxes. One or two more teams gone on Bowman. We can put that to the cereal and let's make it just prime. Not great for the rest of them. So one or two teams on Bowman Chrome. That one's ready to roll. Mosaic football will go up after the next box. We got a, a bar now. What's up, Moku? got fudge something I'm not really a big fan of too sweet autograph Wesneski rookie auto for the Chicago Cubs AW is that our first auto what even rarer than that auto you and I just agreed on too oh nice Fudge is just like overrated. Too sweet. 
And I love sweets. It's just like, I don't know. I'll take brittle all day. If, if I'm in a fudge mood, I'm in a... That's a condor. Uh, I'm in a... Uh, a brownie mood. You know, might as well have a might as well have a nice brownie. You know. Hey, Chris Draz doesn't like it either. He said no fudge. <laughs> You've grown so distant, <laughs> Chris. Over the weekend. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that's the Christmas one. Christmas story. The Christmas one. I can I tell you though, I I do not like a Christmas story. He doesn't like the movie. It's just every year it's played like four times in a row in my house and no. Prado. Oh, I love quinoa. Prado for the Royals. Quinoa is what Kansas City takes. How about San Coco? That looks like some really weird, like, jambalaya. Thick, hearty stew made with up to seven different meats, large pieces of protein with root vegetables. Variations of this dish are served throughout Latin America and the Caribbean. Is this how we determine what's for lunch in the future? That's it. Yep, open Ginter till we hit a uh, dish. That's what's for dinner. Guys, if you're looking for ways to get your wife to be okay with opening cards, there you go. All right, Ortiz for Pittsburgh on the silver foil. Berg fan. Quinoa is evil? No, that, that, that's corn on the cob, by the way. Not eggs. Who doesn't love quinoa though? What in what like just a fun grain, I guess. It's not really a grain, but yeah. Only in San Diego. Vulture. Jersey of Whit Merrifield for Toronto, Brad Willis. Golden Eagle. Rumlov in the Czech Republic. Yeah, lucky that one didn't really speak to me too much. Quinoa, however. Mm-mm. In our house, we do like quinoa in a bowl, like black beans, steak, hot sauce, a little cheese, sour cream maybe. So good. What do you keep saying? Best girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I just looked up. Yes, 100%. That Labandera actually sounded kind of good with like an egg on top too. Like a loose fried egg. Mm. Over medium. Just... I do love when restaurants ask how you want your eggs cooked. It's like over easy, over medium, over hard. And you're like, come on. In reality, most restaurants, you're just getting it however it comes up. <laughs> Even though a perfectly over medium egg, that is hard to beat. Just that creamy. Mm. 
<laughs> Brad. <laughs> You're killing me. All right, after this box, Mosaic Football Serial Closer will go up. There he is again. Yep. <laughs> I actually love over easy, but there's nothing to me like when they underdo and over easy. I'm just like, come on, man. I don't want the white to be running. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. There we go, lucky. Okay, all right. Melissa would be right behind you. Ooh. Lost our minis. Oh, we got our hot box. That's why we lost our minis. There we go. They're, like, they're kind of weird. They're not like chrome, though. They're just... Well, I don't think the minis come chrome. Only. No, no. Even the base. It's not chrome. It's just like uh -huh. paper. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. Yep. Everything ships here. Ex yeah. Pretty much everything, I guess. Diaz for the Mets. Sweet Pea, another Jersey Relic. Hank Aaron. Only in Cleveland. I'm not mad about it while we rip. <laughs> Ripping packs and cooking stacks all night. <laughs> I get behind that. Ash Browns with some over easy eggs. So I do like over easy. I just it's sometimes it's not worth the risk of them being underdone because when they're under, they're gross. I don't need no jiggly whites. Silver foil of holiday of uh, Matt Holiday for the Rockies, not the one you're thinking. How about an autograph of Jim Cat for Minnesota, frame mini auto, Mr. Inflatables. Oh, Peking Duck. International Delights. It's it's honestly, it's, it's serviceable, but not, I don't get super excited about Peking Duck. There's another one that reminds me of. Christmas Story. Is that a photo variation, Adley? What'd you say photo variation is in it in? 9 1? It is. No, it's a high number. Oh, that's why. It, it's high number. That's why. High number foil, Adley. What do we got here? Oh, only in LA. It's like, I can't even tell. Is it a hot dog? I think it's a hot dog. Yeah, it's a must for any visit to the ballpark, the Dodger dog. The most iconic stadium food in all of sports. That's what it says. <laughs> They're often topped with ketchup, mustard, chopped onions, and relish. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. Whoa. The world. This one's and fat. That's a fat pack. That's a relic. Nope, it's just a mispacked pack. Uh, so 
So they get cereal from all over the world, and that's their YouTube channel. They just eat cereal and comment and read it. I mean, that could be a fun channel. Yeah. Just like, because everyone, I'm sure all over the world, they have different types of cereal for their palates. I hope you bring that. Hope what? You bring us snacks back. For my work trip? Hey Chris, are there? Am I gonna be able to find any like weird snacky snacks over there? And better question: Will I be able to bring them back? I mean, you're gonna. Okay. Two. Oh, we got two in a row. That's why. Oh. Two Jersey relics in a row. Hosmer for the Cubs. A W. All right, we're good. Chris said yes. Perez for the Royals, FFH, Jersey Relics, so back to back there. By any other name, Hoodie Allen. Blackman for Colorado. And get ready because the serial closer is about to hit the website. Yep, teams are coming out of stock. Chris, I'm just excited for some Tony Romas. <laughs> that cracks me up. Oh, I, that, that I could smash. I have one right across the street from my house. Man, I remember I ate Shake Shack back in the day when it just had a couple locations in New York, including the original one. That was the first one I ever ate at before it really branched out at all. Five guys, for Davies. Five guys Timmy Hortons. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. The only problem I have with five guys, you got to be rich to eat there. It's so expensive. Five guys, yes. Compared to what? It's twenty bucks for a burger and fries. No, it isn't. How expensive Bet. is it around here? Bet. You have some weird ass fries. That's that's See, Griff, Griff, confirm. How burger and fries, right? Twenty bucks, because you got to buy your burger. It's like ten bucks, and then you got to buy your fries, which are like ten bucks. It's wild. That's my only problem there. Like, food's incredible. Quality is fantastic. I have the same problem with a lot of barbecue joints here in Kansas City. Is If it costs a freaking arm and a leg, it's not supposed to. It's barbecue. And it's the same to me with burgers and fries. It shouldn't cost 20 bucks for a burger and fries. I'm just saying. Burger, fries, and delivery, 40 bucks. Delivery. Hey, I'm just no, saying. No, no, that's where you lose it. You have to go there or else you pay the DoorDash price. Drash, it's $40. It is. No, I'm saying in person it's over 20, guaranteed. Jones jersey, I promise. I think we know what's I can't afford that. <laughs> he said, I guess I know what's for lunch tomorrow. I can't, come on. Okay. I'll pay rent right now. Oh, cage of fries for sure. 100%. Load up on the peanut town says. <laughs> Gotta get your money's worth. I said, no question quality of food at Five Guys, in my opinion, is, is, is spectacular. The way they melt the cheese on that burger, and it's uh, that's a great burger. That's a great burger. They ask you not to leave with the peanuts, but they don't constructively forbid it. Oh, it's, uh, Chris, oh, oh I, I, yep, I, I imagine. Also, to be very clear, I am not a guy who, who uh, eats cheap, we'll call it. I love good food, and that's at any price point. I just don't eat garbage. That's all I ask. Sushi, not my thing. Oh, did I just make some enemies? I do eat some sushi, but it's just not my thing. It's just not my thing. But hey, more for you guys.
Mr. Inflatables, you've hit with many for sure. Uh, Chris, BLT, 50 bucks. <laughs> Hey, as long as you don't take me to Memphis Barbecue, I'm good. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, Memphis Barbecue's solid. Tony Gwynn, speaking of San Diego, Mr. Inflatables, Tony Gwynn jersey relic. He just had to come in and ask, you know? A vulture. Oh, did that go up, by the way? Oh, yep. Oh, Hoppy. And... Serial closer is up. Ruiz for Oakland on the uh, Silver Rook. Serial, not serial. There we go, Alan. I'll eat at a sushi restaurant because you can usually find plenty of like Cooked, oh, Louisiana Chargo, Louisiana, that's a whole level. cooked sushi that's like, I, I, I don't mind. And I'll eat some raw sushi too. I just don't enjoy it. Like Melissa will put it in her mouth and just be like, oh my God, this is so good. And I'll eat it and be like, you know, edible, but I'd much rather have a thousand other things on the menu. So I'll, like I said, I saved the sushi for the people who really enjoy it. Not knocking it. You like what you like, you know? What do we got going on here? Yeah, cookies, but they're sugar cookies with sprinkles I'm out. I'll eat them, but... Is that what the food part was? Yep. Cord it's cookie, and it has a sugar cookie with sprinkles. For I mean, MCH Cortez on the jersey. It could have been like that. Yeah. That would have been worse, for sure. That's a fake cookie. Oh, rip and lucky. I'm going to guess that cereal closer is smacked. There should be one left. By any other name, the Allen Wrench. Yeah, there's one left on that cereal. One left on the mosaic cereal closer. <laughs> Chris, sweet card, the Allen Wrench. I got a card with a wrench on it. Yes. I think people think it's a physical representation of a Bitcoin. It is. It's but it's not even real. Like it's not even what a Bitcoin looks like. Nope, no adjustable wrench. <laughs> he said I missed it. Was it at least an adjustable wrench? Nope. <laughs> Just a stick wrench. Alan, if you invented that wrench, I think you're doing well. <laughs> I'm curious, like, what did the inventor of the Allen wrench, like, what did he sell that wrench for? On the closer? Out of stock on the cereal. Cereal closer is gone. And then at the end of this box, if we haven't heard from MCHLCL, that will be a random New York versus Seattle, number to 30, double ripper. That way, if uh, Lucky wins and wants a ripper, we can do that. So all base top loader, or all base box toppers. Ikea owns 60% of the world's Allen wrenches. Facts. <laughs> he said crap card. Assuming it was at least adjustable. Nope, crap card. You guys seen that... that um, meme going around that's the uh, workbench that has a picture of all the wrenches hanging on their like sizes 
like by quarter of an inch every increment and that's all crescent wrenches adjust it to the size on the on like that's funny baltimore and how about benson for the reds will benson rookie autograph headed to allen Never bad about a uh, Ginter case that has a double ripper. Oh, what do we got here? Cheesecake. First off, all right. I love cheesecake. That is a messed up looking cheesecake. I know. It looks like pumpkin cheesecake or something. And that is the weirdest looking slice I've seen. Something's wrong with that cheesecake. I know. That's what I'm saying. That ain't no cheesecake. That's some bull crap on that. Maybe peanut butter. But yeah, but who's putting that on like the cheesecake card? You know what I mean? That should look like a classic slice of cheesecake. And it also looks like it'd be pretty granular in your in your. If that's peanut butter cheesecake, you know what it needs. Oh, Nineteen oh nine. William G. Allen files the first patent for hex-driven safety screws. My guy. Also, New York cheesecake. Get out of here. Way too light, way too fluffy. I want dense, creamy cheesecake. Yawn with a dog. Is it a dog relic or her relic? Captain Sandy Yawn. She's a captain and a TV personality. Is that from like Below Deck or something? I don't know. If really? I totally made that up. Never watched. Yeah, they were in this, so. I never watched a minute of that show in my life. I only know it from when I was reviewing the Jackals. Nolan Jones. Silver foil rookie. Colorado. Ooh, grape jam sauce. Yes, please. Oh, boy, you're bringing back bad memories of that card. Oh, no, sweetie, don't, bring that up. don't bring up the George Costanza card. Scotty, you out there watching? We still don't know where it is. Scotty. Chris had to bring up the Costanza. <laughs> True story, Scotty's first week of work. And that pool happened. It was a very big pool, by the way. Uh, ragu a la Bolognese. Eh. eh. Um, you know, big card at the time, especially for a jer probably the biggest jersey card you could ever pull, if you think about it. Yeah. All it is is a jersey card to 99. Yeah, it's probably the most expensive jersey card to 99 you could ever pull. And... Um, Somehow, Scotty missorted and misshipped that, and it never appeared ever again. So we had a we we, we took care of uh, Nick Casino. Nick is who hit it and paid out of pocket for that. Hat for the Cubs. A W Hosman, whoever got it, never came forward. We traced it back to what we thought was you know a pretty good idea of a couple people who it could have gone to, but never turned up. And lesson learned. I hope. I paid for the lesson. Hopefully it was learned. Oh, we got more food. International Delights Gallo Pinto. Lucky, that's the best part. I kind of punked him on it. Like, about a year, right? We were doing the interview. Yep. Hey, this is Spanish for Spotted Rooster. Often served for breakfast alongside eggs. It's a mixture of rice and beans stir-fried together with 
copious seasoning. Copious seasoning, sorry. Interesting. Rooster? I don't think there's any rooster on this plate. I'm just saying. It's just, it just means spotted rooster. Barraza mini rook. All right. <laughs> Lucky I have it. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We're going to do the random Seattle first. The Yankees. Give me a second here. What are you saving over there? He's scanning. Yep. Right, Lucky? Yeah, it was literally, uh, well, technically it was a Jason Alexander relic card from NT Baseball back in 2021, I believe. Yeah, kind of unannounced, too. I remember people started opening going, oh, jeez, you know. And there were only 99. There were no parallels of it, so it was just 99. That was it. Yeah, it was like when we lost it, it was like 1250 bucks. Yeah. Now they're much cheaper, but. All right, here we go. New York and Seattle. Last sale was 610. There you go. All right, give me a second here. Seattle versus New York. Anytime there's only two teams, we type them in twice so that there's enough stuff in the list that we should see it move around a little bit. There we go. Three times. One, two, three. C at toll. I don't remember who had who, so uh, let me look. Seattle is lucky. Lucky. Are we ripping it? Oh, Griff, look what he did to us. <laughs> what is it? I got to look at the break number. Hold on. 10,574 Ginter, baby. 